encourage them to reach for the solution by themselves. To Dr. Lenely C. Borromeo, to our international resource speaker, Sir J. Louis Torres, my fellow PCU graduate school classmates and invited educators from different SPOs and institutions, a blessed afternoon to all of you. I, Maria Avasica Geis, have the honor to be your program host in this webinar and workshop entitled Inquiry-Based Learning in an Online Environment. How are you, fellow educators? Thank God for giving us another day. Indeed, no bad or bad weather can stop us to gain new sets of information which are beneficial to our vocation as teachers. So, to start the program, let us first invoke the presence of the Holy Spirit through an opening prayer to be led by Sir Alfe Alboso from Harold Horn Integrated School. Sir Alfe. Thank you, ma'am. So everyone, let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we thank you that you promised to be with us always. Thank you that your presence is with us right now. Today, we give you our hearts, our minds, and our lives. Come speak your words of life into our beings. We pray that you would deepen our comprehension, broaden our thinking, and transform our understanding of what we are about to study. For you are our wise counselor, of our per perfect teacher, and our faithful friend. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Sir Alfe, for such a powerful prayer. To officially welcome everyone, may I call in the woman behind this webinar, the ever beautiful with a heart. One of a kind professor, Dr. Lenely C. Borromeo. I love that, Mom Abba. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Inquiry Based Learning in an Online Environment webinar and workshop. This webinar and workshop is actually a part of culminating activity or requirement in our MAED class, Leadership and School Public Relations. Your attendance here is a proof that our promotion is effective. The students are required to invite three participants who are willing to attend this webinar and workshop for four hours from 5 to 9 p.m. I can say that our promotion is effective because we reach our goal of 100 participants, but as of now, we are only how many? 54? Yeah, and our attendees are from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The farthest is from Cagayan, Antique, Marinduque, Osamis, and Davao. Thank you for registering. This class is composed of talented teachers. They prepared everything to make this webinar successful. Uh, starting from the poster, Google form, emailing, program, and of course the certificates. And of course, our knowledgeable speaker to be introduced to you later is from this class. Thank you, sir, for accepting the challenge of our be for being our speaker today. The topic on this webinar is very timely because the government and the private educational institution will still implement online classes. And because we are dealing with children and youth, we as teachers have to be knowledgeable with different ways of encouraging active classroom participation. Thank you, class, and dear guest participants for joining. And again, welcome to our leadership and school public relations class. Good afternoon. All right. Thank you, Dr. Bermeo, for the warm welcome and inspiring message you gave. Truly, it takes a great leader to empower teachers who seek to grow both personally and professionally. At this point, let me give the floor to Mrs. Marjorie Lorraine S. Lanuza from Kangahan Elementary School to introduce our distinguished resource speaker for our webinar. Thank you, Ma'am Ava. 
A pleasant afternoon to all of us who are participating in this webinar workshop. Today, we are given a great opportunity to further develop and enhance our skills as 21st century educators in the new normal. Before we formally proceed with our discussion, I would like to introduce our speaker who will shed some light regarding inquiry-based learning in an online environment. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in elementary education, specializing in early childhood education in Philippine Christian University back in 2009. As an educator, he has a vast teaching and pedag pedagogical leadership background as he was able to work in various countries such as the Philippines, Malaysia, China, Kuwait, Thailand, and now in Russia. Having worked in so many countries, he gained expertise in dealing with students of diverse cultures and nationality. He has a solid 11 years of educational commitment to foster lifelong learning, mainly focusing on IBPYP. As part of his professional values, he takes pride in maintaining a dynamic, trusting, and open learning environment while ensuring learners' creativity and active classroom engagement. All through his teaching experiences, he is well known for having a thorough understanding of the inquiry play based teaching approaches and monitors learners' understanding as agents of their learning. At present, he is currently working as the head of primary and curriculum coordinator at Kaluga International School Russian Federation. To further inspire us, some of his noble achievements include being awarded as the best student teacher in 2009. Also, he was a consistent Dean's Lister. He also garnered a PS Ocampo Award for Excellence in Leadership also in 2009 and became a former University Student Government and Education Society President. So without further ado, it is of great privilege to officially present our exemplary speaker for this webinar workshop. And he is none other than Mr. J. Louis Torres, also known as Sir Louis. Let's give him a virtual round of applause. Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. Hi. Good evening. Hello, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, po. Hi, sir. Hello, hello. Ayan. Share ako. Okay. So, let me just open my slides. Okay, can you see my slide now? Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. Sir. Okay, so uh, once again, good afternoon. Ayan, my name is uh, Sir Louis. And thank you very much, um, Ma Marge, for that very, hindi ko alam ko ano sasabihin ko, very wonderful, your wonderful introduction. Ayan po. As what Ms. Marge mentioned, I am a product of Philippine Christian University, uh, City of Dasmarinas. Ayan po. I have uh, just a little bit background. Um, I have a daughter, ayan, ayan, yun makikita niyo po sa, sa slide, yan po ang aking anak, uh, isa pa lang po, and, um, and my wife is also uh, here, magkakasama po kami dito sa Russia, ayan, isa lang po ang aking asawa. <laughs> ayan. ayan, so, okay, so are you ready for our webinar and workshop? Yes. Ready. <laughs> Everybody. Ready, ready. <laughs> so, Ma'am Ava, can yes. you help me uh, later? Can you help me to read po yung mga, uh, mga comments, suggestions later um, para po sa okay, uh, yes. uh, habang tayo ay nag-discuss po. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. So, there are some reminders actually that I really wanted to ask you. Okay, just a little bit of reminders for this session. Okay, so first is you need to turn your microphone off unless you are speaking. Your camera can be on or off. It's completely up to you. However, during the question and answer, 
if you are speaking, please turn your camera on. Okay, and the third one is use the chat box for your comments and ideas. And I'm hoping that um, you will share also your experiences, your thoughts and your ideas with regards to um, inquiry-based learning. Okay, so before we start, I would like to ask you, okay, let's have a poll of how many years you've been teaching. So I will be launching a poll and all you need to do is to answer that poll. Okay, so can you see the poll? Can you, can you see the poll na po? Yes. Okay, so I can see here that, okay, 19%. Okay, nagbabago pa siya. Still moving. Hmm? Ay, hindi lumalabas sa'yo. Yeah, it's still moving. It's still moving. Okay pa po sa akin. Tingin ko po hindi po nag a sa inyo. Okay, may nagsasagot pa. 69% pa lang po ang nakaboto. So, wow. So far, uh, 29% ay merong 0 to 2 years of experience in teaching. Okay. Ayan, meron pong sumasagot. 75% na. Okay. Let me just end the poll. Siguro wala nang sasagot. Okay, ayan. So based on um, the poll that I gave, ayan, zero to two years, 28%, three to five years, 20%, six to 10 years, 18%, 11 to 15 years, may 13%, and 16 years and above, meron tayong 23%. So uh, kalimita, uh, karamihan ng ating mga attendees ngayon ay um, merong experience zero to two years old, which is um, really good para um, mas ma-refresh ba kayo? Ayan, ma-refresh yung iba sa ating topic na inquiry-based learning at maging guide nyo rin later on sa inyong pagtuturo. Ayan. Okay. So, show. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so for the agenda um, for today, we have the session description. Getting started with inquiry. What does authentic inquiry look like in practice? Um, busting five minutes of inquiry-based learning. Designing inquiry-based online learning and conceptual understanding and reflection. So later on, uh, makikita natin yan lahat ng mga ito, madidiscuss natin. Later on, makikita natin yung mga conceptual understanding um, about inquiry-based learning in an online environment. And actually later din po, um, I will, I'm going to ask you to uh, do reflection through um, the link that I will provide later. Okay. So, para malaman natin kung um, para malaman natin kung talagang naintindihan niyo yung atin pong webinar and workshop. Yun po yung pinaka exit ticket natin. Okay, so what is this inquiry based um, inquiry based learning? So this this um, inquiry based learning actually in demand siya before pa. So kung mapapansin ninyo, ang DepEd ay nag, uh, nag, nag publish sa K-12 ng different methodologies or strategies um, para sa ating mga estudyante. So ang inquiry-based learning, hindi lang siya masyadong um, kalimitan sa Pilipinas hindi nagagamit kasi um, dahil sa problema sa paggamit ng mga ng online devices. So hindi lahat ng mga schools or hindi lahat ng mga estudyante natin ay may sarili-sariling mga internets or devices para magkaroon ng para maka-attend ng mga online se sessions or online classes or synchronous lessons. But um, kahit na hindi pala uh, kailangan ng mga like this one like for example the laptop 
kahit na pala hindi hindi kay hindi kahit wala pa lang laptop we can still do it paano and later on marami tayong learning management system na pwede nating magamit for this inquiry based learning so syempre uh, importante for sure naman for sure lahat ng mga bata or lahat ng family may mga cellphones di ba po So later on, sabihin ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga applications, ayan, application na pwedeng ninyong magamit sa inyong mga kla- sa, sa klase ninyo para po kahit papaano yung inquiry based learning po ay magagamit ninyo. Ayun. Kasi napakaganda, napakaganda po ito. Um, tulad nga po ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, the inquiry based um, learning po ay hindi masyadong nagagamit dahil ang ang thinking ng mga teachers and thinking po ng iba ay paano ko naman 'to magagamit hindi naman kami face to face so modular tapos minsan lang kami nagmi-meet pag minsan sa Facebook Messenger sa video calls or whatever po na communication niyo sa mga sa mga bata so i will try my best to give justice <laughs> dito po sa inquiry based learning well ako po ay um 10 years actually 9 years um an inquiry based practitioner po pero i admit na ito po ay face to face but because of this pandemic kailangan as a teacher kailangan talaga natin mag-improve because we are lifelong learners teachers are lifelong learners so naniniwala ako na hindi talaga dapat tayo maging stagnant so kailangan maragi palagi tayong may natututunan every day so okay let's move on So for this um, webinar, so we have this thought-provoking questions. Have you heard of inquiry-based learning but weren't really sure what it entailed? Have you tried to implement it in your online classroom but not sure if you're hitting the mark? So for this um, webinar, these are the thought-provoking questions. What is inquiry? What do inquirers do? And what does authentic inquiry look like in practice? So what is inquiry? Do you have any idea po? Ano po ba ang inquiry? So pag-uusapan po natin what is inquiry. So if you have ideas po, I want you to please okay, go to menti.com okay, and use the code 56187526 and answer po and give two words that come to your mind when you think about inquiry. Okay, po. Let me share. Empty. Okay. So let's see what words will come up here. So Yan may investigate, ask. Inquiry. Question, answer. Yeah. Yeah. So we have here asking question, answer, seek Info, information, exploration, investigation, researching, experiential. Yan. Very nice yung mga answers. Nag-stand out pa rin ang question, ask, exploration. Yan. I read here, curiosity. Discovery. Thought-provoking. Being inquisitive. Okay. 
So talagang ano natin no, nakita natin dito na ang ang thinking natin when when uh, we think about inquiry, it's all about asking or question. Hmm. May next sasagot pa po ba? Kubiri, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ma'am Ava, baka may nagsasagot sa chat box. Yan. So nag-stop na siya. Siguro yung iba hindi makakonect sa Mentimeter. And I understand that kasi nga uh, may bagyo ngayon sa Pilipinas. Ayan. Okay, Ma'am Ava, meron po bang nagsasagot sa chat box? Si Ma'am Maddie lang po nag-send ng link. Ah, okay po. So meron tayong 28 participants na nag-answer. So half of it, hindi pa. <laughs> Siguro hindi makakonek po sa Mentimeter. Ayan. Discovery, inquiry, problem, information, exploration. Ayan. Questioning, interaction. Yes. Experiential, creating, interest. Classifying. Wow. Okay. So, I think yan wala nang nagano. So, ayan. Actually, lahat po ng mga sagot ninyo ay connected sa inquiry. Why? Kasi um, sa inquiry talaga, we really need to investigate. We really need to ask questions. We, and through investigation, we seek information. Yes? And how are we going to seek information if we don't have questions? So, lagi natin iniisip yan. So, ang pag inquire kasi, we have questions to ourselves. So, but all of these questions, of course, we need to find the answer. So, what are we going to do to find these answers? So, through investigation, through researching, ayan, we uh, seek information, Yan po. Kaya lahat po ng mga questionnaire nyo dito, lahat po yan tama po. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so now this time, if you are familiar with um, Harvard Project Zero Visible Thinking Routines, may familiar po ba, familiar po ba kayo dito? So, Ito po ang one of the strategies that I'm using at school sa aking mga teachers and at the same time sa mga students ko before um, para po ma-enhance po yung uh, thinking routines po nila. So we are going to use also this thinking routine which is the um, see, think, and wonder. Ayan. Nakikita niyo po ba? Just let me know kung nakikita niyo po ah. Yes sir. Ayan, clear naman yes, po sana. Okay, I think this is not the one that I shared. Um hmm. This one. Ayan, okay na po ba? Yes sir. Okay, so here's so a visible thinking routine. So what are we going to do? And what are we going to use? How are you going to answer me? So using the annotate, yan may, kailangan ko po kayong i-allow for annotation. Ayan. So using the annotation in your screen, I want you to annotate what you see 
think and wonder to the photo that I have shown you. So meron pa po, men, nakikita niyo pa po ba yung photo? Or do you want me to go back again and then let's take a look? Okay, balikan natin ha. Okay, so yeah. So these, these are the pictures. Okay, and let me share you the thinking, visible thinking routine. Okay, so you have there. What do you see? What do you think? And what do you wonder? So we have here web, paint, bear, Okay, logo. Ano yung isa? Hindi ko nabasa. Nagkadob. <laughs> Mirroring. I think, sir, it's partner. Ah, partner. Okay. And what do you wonder? Looking at the, uh, those pictures, what do you wonder? Yan. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yan yung mga photos. Ayan. Sige po. Sagot lang po kayo dyan. So ayan, welcome po sa 64 participants na nandito ngayon. How are they connected? Sabi ni Sir Alfie. Ayan. How are they connected? Okay. Meron tayo ditong animal. Mm -hmm. Paint, web. Okay. How were these images created? Nice question, nice wondering. Okay, you think that this is a reflection, okay. Okay. Siguro yung iba hindi makaano no? <laughs> hindi magamit yung annotate siguro mahirap nga what are these images for ayan that's one of the wonders ayan wondering okay so may nasagot pa siguro no Okay, so close na natin yung ano. Thank you very much po doon sa mga nag-participate. Ayan, critical thinking. Yeah, thank you very much po. So let's, can you, how can I clear? Clear all drawings. Ayan, okay na. So. What is. So. Sa see, think, wonder, yun sa mga answers ninyo, alam nyo tama po yan. Kasi isa yan sa mga strategy na ibinibigay natin sa mga bata para yung critical thinking skills nila ay ma-enhance. 
So sa inquiry kasi, kailangan ma-enhance din yung kanilang critical thinking skills. Kasi kapag nag-inquire ka, kailangan may pakita mo sa kanila, okay, uh, we are, hindi sila pwede na okay ang aking, kung ano yung nakikita ko, yun na lang. So kailangan, ang mga estudyante natin, we are developing their critical thinking skills. So, Through this visible thinking routine, ma ma may matutulungan mo na ma-develop ng mga bata yung kanilang critical thinking skills. Yan. So ito po, um, yung mga sagot nyo kanina, si, di ba from out of, uh, out of nowhere, bigla kayong magtatanong na, oo nga, no? so saan galing ito? Uh, saan yung, um, how this um, photos created? I mean, paano, paano ito nagawa? So ano ba ito? Reflection ba ito? Um, and you can see na maraming opinions at maraming marami kayong marireceive na mga na mga words from your students kasi doon mo nakikita na ay nag-iisip tong mga to sometimes may nakikita sila sa isang photo or sa isang bagay na hindi natin nakikita and from there doon na magi-start magi-spark na yung curiosity and if they the if their curiosity ay nag-spark may nag-spark na yung curiosity nila magtatanong na ngayon sila so doon na nag-start yung inquiry okay so now for our next slide actually um i attended um toddl um this is toddl in um thai summit actually we call it thai summit toddl international educator summit this 2021 so When I attended this um, webinar, si Geraldine DeFascio ay napaka-isang sa um, international guru, ayan, inquiry-based guru din po siya, practitioner from um, all the way from Australia. Yan siya po ay nagbigay ng webinar about how to start or paano, ayan nga, how can we get started um, using the inquiry base. So ngayon po i-share ko sa inyo kung ano po yung mga sinabi niya about what is inquiry. So sa pagdaan po ng ating mga discussion, gusto ko po na gusto ko po na intindihin niyo pong mabuti or may makuha po kayo kahit na mga ilang words po na nag-capture sa na na-catch niyo po dito po sa video na ito. Okay? What is inquiry? Inquiry is like gardening or farming. Or maybe it's a maze. It's uncomfortable and sometimes confusing to feel like you're going in circles. Do you need a map to know where you're going? Dead ends are opportunities to reset your course. Out of the darkness of dead ends, we find ourselves in the glorious light in all its spectacular beauty. But sometimes, just like that, the moment is gone and we're plunged back into uncertainty. Be the carrier of light. I can see a way forward. Always know your why. The joy in figuring it out ourselves is irreplaceable. Get comfortable with uncertainty. Knowing the next right move takes time, practice and an acceptance that you're not always going to be right. Is this the beginning or the end? Yeah, okay. So um, looking, looking back at the words and uh, the photos that have, uh, you have seen on this video clip, I, re I want you to um, use the chat box there to give some insights if you have some ideas kung ano po yung inquiry based po doon sa sinabi dito sa video clip. Ano po ba yung masasabi nyo na ay, ito palang inquiry? So try po natin, mag-chat po tayo.
And Miss uh, Ma'am Ava, can you read po all the messages po yung mga sagot po nila? Thank you. So we have answers from uh, Michelle figuring out what it is. From uh, Marika Ramos, it's curiosity. From um, Wella Fair, it's figuring. From um, From Mom um, Rosalina is what what will be the next move from Mom um, Ayana. From the video, I can say that anchor-based instruction is a student-centered approach where the instructor guides the students through questions posed. Right. Mom Sherlyn Tagalan, discovering something new. From Prince Louis, map direction. From John Michael, a maze that is hard to know where to go. From Sir Alfe, looking forward to the solutions. Mm -hmm. From Amri um, and Faith, inquiry is a continuous process. It's never ending. It may depend on how curious one can be. From um, Melanie, mm -hmm. knowing and discovering something by yourself. Yes, From um, Sarah, inquiry takes practice do not always no need to be watched mm -hmm. from those it is more than asking a student what he or she wants to know from mom christine inquiry is figuring out things but being open and accepting that the result would be different from one source to another also, Yes, that's true. Actually, ayan, uh, lahat yan, mga nasagot nyo, tama yan. So it's an ending. An ending? Non, hindi, hindi talaga siya ano eh, hindi talaga siya matatapos. So kaya nga ang tanong kanina, is it the beginning or the end? Because we know that if we inquire, if we inquire, wala yan, non-stop yan. So hindi, hindi mo malalaman kung okay, nasagot ko na ba to? Then, even, even as teachers, if we are, if we are, wondering something and then we find the solution or the answer then suddenly we we look back ay parang iba parang hindi pa yata ito yung sagot so it's the same thing sa ating mga estudyante so they thought um they thought na ay ito na ang tamang sagot but if you ask questions if you ask questions continue asking questions sigurado may mapapafind pa rin sila na na solution or may mapapain pa rin silang mga answers. Ayan, sabi dito ni, ni Sir Aldrin, based from the video that I have watched, inquiry is a confusing maze that makes us to know more. Hence, it's like seeking for answers. Tama po yan. It is perceived, ask, and discover. Okay, sa next po na slide na ipapakita ko sa inyo, what is inquiry like? Ayan, based din doon sa sinabi ninyo kanina. Ayan, <laughs> Ayan po. So if you can see this illustration, you can see that there's no definitive beginning. It is a mess, chaotic. What is your reflection on this? What can you say about it? Do you agree dito na sa sinasabi natin na ang inquiry is really a mess? It's really chaotic. What do you think? It's an abstract, sabi ni Sir Albert. Yan. Do you agree na ito ay chaotic? Or it's a mess? 
Yan, where do I begin? Yeah, that's true. It's colorful. Yes. Okay, according to Ma'am Michelle, it's not chaotic. Yeah, it may be connected or beginning of something. Okay. It is diverse. Yes. I like uh, I like what Miss Rosalina uh, said. It's colorful. Yeah, it's colorful. Bakit sinabi natin colorful? So actually, um, inquiry is really a mess because we just keep on going. We are just going with the flow. At chaotic siya minsan kasi uh, beautiful mess po siguro. He. With, proper, with proper guidance si teacher, mas magiging organized ito. That's true po. Kasi po, it's a beautiful work of art designed by the human mind. Yes, that's true. Kasi kapag naging choir tayo, ang dami nating naiisip na mag, nagkakaroon ng connections. Yan, nagkakaroon po ng connections yung mga iniisip natin. Saan ba natin i-coconnect ito? Itong naisip natin, ay oo, oh, oh, connected nga pala ito dito. Kaya makikita ninyo, dyan si scribble na yan, sa so art na yan. Let me drink, excuse me. Ayan. Excuse me po. So, dito makikita ninyo na itong, itong scribble na to, makikita nyo, it's colorful and the line goes from different places. So, it's the same thing as when we, when our student inquire. Okay? Their inquiries can go deeper or can go to beyond your expectation. So, yeah. So, we need to expect that it will be chaotic. <laughs>